Can you please, sir, tell us in your own words why you decided to keep the short selling ban on? Yeah, uh, thank you very much for having me in, in this uh, session. Well, basically, we are still operating at the pandemic level kind of environment. The COVID-19 um, disease is still rising in Indonesia. And uh, as such, we are still operating uh, in the shortened trading hours. Uh, and secondly, uh, we also understand that there are plenty of new investors coming in into our market, uh, especially the, the young one. Um, a lot of them are still need to be educated on how to invest in Indonesia. And we're just afraid that uh, if uh, the short selling ban is being lifted, there are uh, more issues uh, coming from their side. So those are the main reason that we are still in, uh, maintaining the short selling ban for the time being. So what criteria needs to be met for you to consider lifting the ban? And do you have another review time set in stone uh, w at, at which time you might consider lifting it? Yeah, uh, for the time being, I think we probably have to uh, getting more information uh, from the government with regards to how the pandemic has been uh, developing. If we see that there is a sign that the disease is abating in Indonesia, and we see that the market has stabilized because of the uh, rollout of the vaccines. So we think that's something to think about uh, lifting the ban again. But for the time being, we don't have any specific time frame, and we uh, we we are going to monitor continuously uh, on these uh, parameters, basically. Right. Uh, Mr. Vidoro, good morning. Thank you for joining in this conversation. You'd appreciate my question coming in from those who are, of course, big advocates of uh, free markets and democratization of markets. Uh, so, um, how healthy would this be for the markets overall? And how much do you think this could stoke the bubble risk in the markets if you just let the markets go one way? Yeah. Uh, obviously, there is a risk on that one. Um, we understand that... Um, the risk is not um, uh, upside and uh, downside is not uh, really in the same kind of uh, measurement. So we do understand that this is not going to be uh, a long lasting. Uh, hopefully by uh, second half of this year, we hope we can return back to normal with regards to the uh, our uh, trading hours our, and also the depend on, on the uh, 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 share. Um, Shorting.